we're familiar with magnets. For example, here, this is a toy magnet. And look what happens if we switch north and south pole. There's repulsion. Consider these little magnets. We have the unlikes attracting north and south pole. Of course, we don't know which is which because a human being can't perceive north and south poles. But we know that they're unlikes because they attract. Now, if we take one and flip it around, we get repulsion. The magnet is pushed in the top magnet away. There's no way I could be doing that with my fingers. Now consider these two magnets. Put one in there. Put the other one in. They attract. I flip the top one around and look what happens. There's repulsion and the repulsion is so great it overcomes the gravitational pull of the earth acting on the top one and the top one appears to float. Now watch carefully. Attraction. Repulsion. And attraction. So it really matters which pole is facing which pole. Notice that tendency for the lower magnet to stop and go. This is due to static friction, which is a little bit greater than the friction we experience when we push something. The initial friction is greater, so you have to nudge it, and then once when you overcome it, it moves. 